Listen, if you are a business owner, an aspiring business owner, you do not want to miss this video, all right? Because today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the biggest silent killers in your business that nobody talks about, okay? Now, just to give context to this, when you become a business owner, okay, one of the biggest concerns, especially if you're leaving a W-2 job, is how am I going to have health insurance? Like, you know, for the longest time, and I think it's gotten a little bit better as of today, but in previous years, health, health insurance for an entrepreneur is extremely expensive, okay? Why many entrepreneurs and business owners ran around and didn't have it, okay? And so we put a lot of emphasis and focus on that, which is important because should something happen to us, we want to make sure that we got coverage because the out-of-pocket expense can also be like out of control. But the thing that we don't think about is if and when something does happen, what do you do? Like we talk about reserves. We talk about having, you know, six months saved up or even a year saved up. Or if right, some of us not fortunate enough to even have that much saved up. But there's still a burn rate on that money. Right. Meaning that you're constantly burning through that money as you're not making money because whatever ailment has caused you to not be able to go out and produce at the level that you would normally produce, depending on if you're a solopreneur or you only got a couple people in your business, but you're the one that that is front facing and kind of, you know, leads the way with all the revenue generation for the most part. And you just got facilitators inside the business. And I personally had a situation where I had to have a procedure done. Um, by God's grace, everything was good, but I was down for a couple of weeks. And, you know, we've been fortunate to make millions of dollars over the years in our business. And during that time, while I did have my real estate holdings to, to lean on, that alone didn't make me feel good because if you, if you have a business to generate millions of dollars a year, that's one thing that every single business absolutely must have, regardless of how much money that it generates. Y'all ready for what that one thing is? That one thing is this. Continuity. You need to have some type of subscription model in whatever you offer. I don't care what the business is, right? You can do a, a service as a subscription, right? A SaaS offer. So think about, think about, you know, I'll use real estate for an example. So think about something like PropStream. Many people subscribe to PropStream to utilize their service, right? They could, PropStream could just sell like a one-time fee access, right? They could sell the software and white label it. They can, there's a myriad of different ways that they can bring that to the marketplace. But what they decided was that they would much rather have you sign up for, you know, $59 or I, I don't even know what the number is, but let's just say $59 a month to utilize that service because now they got predictable recurring revenue. OK, and for those of y'all that's not in real estate, just think of Netflix, think of Hulu, think of all the things your wine club as talking to my wife right now. Right. Like just think about all the things that you that you pay for that is on recurring revenue. And so all the big major corporations figured out many years ago, that's the way that you not only sustain a business, but that's the foundation from which you should build any business. OK. And I know this is something that just goes over many people's head because as it did for me for many years, when you make it, when you got a successful business and you essentially printing money, unless or until something happens, sometimes you don't really think about how important other things are, right? And certain add-ons to the business. And so just from my own personal experience, I wanted to make this video to bring awareness to the fact that you don't want to be in a situation where if you are the attractive character in your business and you are the one that moves the needle from a, a revenue generation perspective, then you want to safeguard yourself. So should something happen, one, that you do have insurance, right? That's important. Two, that you do have reserves. But three, ultimately, and which is really, really, really important, 
is that you have some type of recurring revenue in your business, okay? So the first one I talked about is software as a service. The second one that you could start is a newsletter of some sort. You can have people pay to subscribe to a newsletter. And I know that sounds archaic, but I'm telling you, it's been happening for decades upon decades that people have been subscribing to these newsletters. You know, if you're like in the stock trading or options trading, if you're in that space where there's constant, a re, uh, there's a constant refresh on relevant, current, vital information, people can subscribe to a newsletter that they pay you, I don't know, $20, $30 a month, maybe $100 a month, depending on how much meat is in it and whoever your, your avatar is, to where now you start, you know, putting hundreds, if not thousands of people into this community that's subscribing to this newsletter that you're giving them that's having an impact on their life that they're willing to pay for, right? So you can have tens of thousands of dollars being generated every month by way of this newsletter that you put out, okay? And then the third one, there's, there's many others, but these will be the top three in my opinion, would be a, a membership site, okay? So think of a business model that you could charge people for and do one-to-one -one transactions, okay? So, for instance, maybe you do some type of coaching, okay? Maybe you coach coaches, right? Coaching and consulting business. Instead of charging them one time for, a, for your services over a, a, a certain period of time, so maybe you got a four-month program, six-month program, a one-year program. Instead of doing that, you could put together all the intellectual property and the framework to where you're feeding them on a monthly basis and they can pay you to essentially keep getting those services on a monthly basis. So it's a, it's a continuum, it's an ongoing process. And it's really just taking something that you can do one time and continue to do it. Now here's the beautiful part about it. There's always gonna be a need for you to evolve, okay? There's always gonna be a need for you to evolve. In your evolution, you're staying ahead of other people, right? That's the whole, that's, that's what mentorship is. Some, somebody pours into you while you pour into others below you, right? And I don't say below to be condescending. I'm saying that's the ecosystem, right? You got somebody that's learning from you while you're learning from somebody. And so, so as long as you're somebody that's, that's driven and you're continuing to evolve, then there's constantly going to be a, a freshness and a renewal to the information that you have. Which means that as these people are subscribing to get said service or product from you, that there's going to be a newness and a freshness which is going to continue to feed them while they're paying to continue to subscribe for the service. It's no different. If Netflix never uploaded another video, another movie, another show, then why would you keep paying for it, right? So they're constantly bringing in new IP, new intellectual property that they can put on the platform to keep you stimulated because every time you get on there, there's something new for you to watch. So same is true in this subscription-based membership site model where you can take your content and release it in such a way to where they're getting fed on a month in and month out basis while you also make contributions by going live inside the community and all the rest of it, okay? And so for us as a company, we are hyper-focused in this area right now, okay? Again, by God's grace, nothing detrimental happened, but it just brought a lot more awareness that, that I and we as a company needed to take this aspect of our business a lot more serious than we had previous, in previous years. You know what I mean? Because again, when you're making millions of dollars, it's easy to, it's easy to camouflage other, other issues, right? Or blind spots, if you will. And so I wanted to uncover this blind spot for you guys because it's extremely important. Again, I think for business owners, new business owners, aspiring business owners, we always think, what are we going to do about insurance, right? Oh, I got savings. But savings run out, right? And insurance is good for covering whatever issue you're dealing with, but it's not good for generating revenue in your business while you're down dealing with whatever issue that you're dealing with. 
And so for me, this is the silent killer that nobody talks about. And, then, and unless or until something happens, God forbid. But if you're in an a un, unforeseen car accident that, you know, puts you in the bed for four to six months or, you know, I had back surgery in 2016. Thank God it was laser. And so I literally walked out of surgery that day. But I was still not at 100 percent. Right. Depending on what would have been the requirement for me to do at that point in time, you know, or if I would have had major back surgery where I would have been bedridden for four to six months, that would have definitely been a catastrophe. Right. So these are just all the things that we need to think about the game within the game, because high level, they're so easy to get caught up in. You know, one of the things we take for granted is. And I like how my mentor says that he like, you know, he's so thankful for 20 things before he even make it downstairs out of the bed in the morning. Right. And what he says is. I know how to look, but I don't know how to make myself see. I know how to stand, but I don't know how to make my legs support my body. I know how to attempt to project, but I can't make myself talk. Right. So it's so many blessings that we take for granted as it pertains to our health, because as long as you're in some decent shape, you get up, you do what you do every day. It's your routine. You go to the gym, you eat clean, you do this, you do that. So you really don't think about it until, again, God forbid something happens. And then it's like, well, dang, you know, I got some money saved up, but money saved is money spent. That's not good enough. OK, so I'm challenging everybody and send this to somebody that you love, another business owner. Like I'm challenging all of you to start thinking long and hard about what type of recurring revenue can you add to your business and then take immediate action. If I can help you in any way, please reach out to me. Otherwise, like, share, comment, turn your notifications on. I'm going to keep bringing you guys the things you need so you can go out and have the success that you want. I'll see you in the next video.